Welcome back to the Double M Innovations channel. Today we're going to head back out underneath those uh, high voltage power lines. These are some 230 kilovolt transmission lines that run along the north end of my property. And they've been doing a couple of experiments out there. And when I talked to the power company about this uh, power line, they're telling me the conditions of the easement that they have through the property. And the conditions are, is that there be no buildings in there and no trees. But they did say you could put up fences. So in this video, I put up a temporary fence and ran a piece of wire. And we're going to see what kind of voltages we can get off that wire just on the fence. This is the 230 kilovolt power line that runs along the north edge of my property. And facing west it's right here and what I got set up now is kind of a crooked little temporary fence I got some garden stakes and some metal stakes and I got some coax cable about 80 yards of coax cable stretched out and the wire is about four to four and a half feet above the ground and what I'm going to do is connect the one end to a capacitor and the other end to the ground, I'm going to charge up that uh, high voltage capacitor. And it's going to go through a bridge rectifier. These are some 1000 volt diodes, and that's a full bridge rectifier. And the other end is just going to go to that ground that I set up in the other video. So what I need to do to get this thing going is just move my lead over to the bare wire. So now this will start charging up. And I got the voltmeter set. I couldn't get a AC reading on this because it was overranging the meter and I was afraid it was going to damage it. I just touched it there and it started beeping, so I didn't want to damage it. I didn't want to try it again because I figured it might wreck it. So I'm going to slowly charge this capacitor up and see what we get up to. And right now it's up to 180, so okay, I'm climbing up. We'll let it sit there for a minute. Now these power lines, I'm guessing they're about 40 feet from the ground the bottom ones the top ones a little bit higher and the easement through my property is about six they said it was 62 and a half feet from the center of the power line to the side edge to the edge of it so there can't be any buildings or trees within the easement but they did say you could have fences and I was curious to see how much these fences are going to be charged up if they are insulated from the ground like this one. Because they did say if you had an electric fence insulated from the ground, it could charge up just by itself just from being under these power lines. And that's what I'm looking for right here. I'll test again to see what we got. Let's see it's there. Well, we're up to... 330 volts right now climbing I know when I was uh, stripping off the wire off the end of this coax cable I could feel it biting my finger a little bit when I was taking the knife and cutting that uh, sheeting off of that so I knew there's some kind of volt high voltage going through there I'm not sure what it is I'm sure it's just microamps going through there but it is significant voltage through there and it is, this capacitor is, let's see if we can see that, 88 microfarads, 1200 voltage DC. Let's see what we're up to now. And it's climbing. Had a little more snow since the last time it runs out here. And it's cold again. January afternoon. And a little bit of snow falling down. And 
down and check it again. I haven't checked. This is the first time I'm checking it to see how high it goes. I'm not sure how high it goes. But it's charging it up. And that's just a simple bridge rectifier. It's rectifying into this capacitor. It's been a few minutes. And we're up to fi over 500 volts already. And climbing. Okay, I'm going to put my glove on for a minute and I'll come back and check it in a bit. Well, it seems to be charging up pretty fast. Ooh, okay. It's over 700 and still climbing. And this is just that wire. You know, it's four, four and a half feet off the ground. It's probably maybe a little bit higher than a regular fence. I just wanted to get above where those metal stakes are, so I zip-tied the wire to some wood I attached to those metal stakes and spots, but it's sagging in between them. Let's see what we got now. Okay, it's getting up there. It's getting, this is pretty dangerous now. It takes about, I think, 10 joules of electric to kill a guy. And this is getting up over that. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to let this go. I don't know if these diodes are going to take it. They're 1,000 volt diodes. And we're almost up to 800 volts. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't trust this meter either. This is an older meter I had. I don't want to break this, destroy this, the high voltage. Okay, yeah, uh, we're slowing down though. Almost 800 volts, but it's slowing down a little bit, charging. Okay, yeah, this is getting pretty dangerous now. Don't recommend anybody doing this at all. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even really expect that on just this uh, the fence right here. It's kind of remarkable. That, look at that. I'm over 800, 820 volts. 819, still rising. Um, I don't know how much longer I should let this go. It could go more than the diodes could take. Okay, yeah, I, this is pushing it, I think. I don't know if that meter's going to take it. I'm not going to leave this charged up. I got a big heavy screwdriver. I'll short it out after I get to the point where I want to stop. Eight hundred and fifty volts. I have probably enough in here to kill a couple guys right now. Um. Yeah, it's. Still rising. Well, eight hundred and seventy six. Well, I'm no, I'm not going to let it go over nine hundred volts. I don't trust this stuff past that. I'm, uh, it's going to go right on up to 900 volts, I think. Probably go past it. Yeah, that. I think I'm going to stop it there. Did you see that? 906 volts and it's still climbing. I'm going to pull this off. 
got set right. I can't even grab it. There, I got it set right up there. Um, yeah, that's quite a bit of voltage in there. Um, I guess I'll I'm gonna shut this off, and I'm gonna plug my ears. I never discharged this capacitor when it's charged up that much. It's probably going to be pretty loud. I did it when it was like 500 volts before. But I don't know what it's going to be like when I do it when it's over 900 volts. Whoa! It sounded like a gunshot. Whew. Let's see what it's at now. Well, I guess it mostly discharged 72 volts. Whew. That was a lot. I'm back inside now by the fire. I'm pretty surprised at the amount of voltage coming off that wire. It was quite a bit. And now I want to take a quick look at the energy that was accumulated in that capacitor. To get a perspective on how much energy was in that capacitor, I punched it into this capacitor energy calculator. And 907 volts, I think, was the last I seen before I disconnected everything. 88 microfarads and stored energy in joules is 36.2 joules. Hmm. Over time, I was collecting some pretty hefty charges, but it would still only be in the milliwatt range of continuous power. I think it would have went right up to 1,000 volts and maybe even over I wouldn't have stopped it. But with the wire at the height of a fence, it's within the conditions of the easement, and it's really not any different than any other fence that'd be underneath there. So I don't think the power company would even pay any attention to it at all. Now, if I had a wire strung up higher, then I think they'd probably have something to say about that. But anyway, it's a pretty interesting situation, and I'm gonna give this some more thought think of some more experiments and head back out there at a later time, maybe once a little bit warmer. So thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.